All right, here we go down another rabbit hole. Uh, right here, I have uh, kind of a rarity. Uh, these are from 1984. Marvel Superheroes first issue covers. Just a card with a print of a comic book cover on it. And I uh, actually ended up paying about 30 bucks for this one pack. These are getting really scarce. I don't know how scarce they were for a long time. I don't think they're very common like the Impel Marvel Universe one. So I'm kind of getting interested in some of this kind of rarer stuff. And um, it, it appears that uh, PSA graded versions of these uh, are actually going for quite a bit online. So I am starting to get kind of interested. Although now that I've received this, I can tell that um, the cards inside are a little bit curled. Uh, just, you know, 35, seven years of just sitting around somewhere. It's cardboard. <laughs> it's not indestructible. So I don't know if a curled card would, would even grade, if it'd be worth it, but I'm going to get into it. I, my main interest in this stuff is just nostalgia and curiosity. So um, let me know down below if you guys think it would be worth it for me to start sending stuff like this into PSA to get graded and try to make a whole deal out of this. Um, let me know what you think. So right now, going to get into this. And it's not an easy pack to open, looks like. There we go. It's not like a perforation, but it was kind of a little like uh, indentations across there. Plastic packs. That's definitely... I haven't seen stuff like that in a while. Here we go. Comic covers. You guys know I'm a comic book nerd. I got a bunch of uh, old comics. Um, so I would say if you were going to grade something like this, I can already tell like the centering is a bit off. And then really the real story is that it's curled. Oh, there we go. Iron Fist number one. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I think with a, with a curve like that, you can see that, right? I, I can't imagine that that's even worth sending in for grading otherwise the you know the corners would be sharp but that's like way off center you can see like way off the top there so um i'm probably not going to go down that road we're just going to have some fun here tales of asgard number one i had seen um, a psa 10 daredevil number one on ebay for over 200 bucks so it's interesting to me um but whoop oh well, there it is went down a grade Tales of Asgard. It tells you all about it. Big Marvel fan myself here. All right, so Iron Fist number one. This is not the first appearance of Iron Fist. Uh, and again, the centering is not great. Miss Marvel number one, not the first appearance of Miss Marvel. These are just like number one issues. Is that what this is? Yeah, first issue cover trading cards. Yeah. I guess that's what it said right on there. But it tells you all about Iron Fist and Misty Knight and all the stuff that they do. The 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 chipboard cardboard is interesting to me. It's like baseball card stock. Um, this was not like tops. This was just like some weird off company. Literally a guy, just a guy, Mark Macaluso from Rochester, New York. Not even a company, so... I don't know if he was printing these out on his own and it says they're licensed or they're trademark at least. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they weren't licensed. It's really interesting stuff. I had never heard of this stuff before. Like I just dig on eBay for interesting weird stuff. And I kind of found this one. Here we go. Miss Marvel. Number one. Let's see what we got next. The new mutant. So that's actually is a first appearance or actually they, they first appeared in the graphic novel, so this is not technically their first appearance. Carol Danvers is hired by the Daily Bugle to edit their women's magazine. Yep. Relegated to sexism back in the 70s. It's just how it goes. The New Mutants. Pretty classic. All right, and our last one. Hey, Spider-Woman, number one. There you go. Read about the New Mutants. And read about Spider-Woman. There you go. Well, there it is. No, no big hitters in there. I think like, you know, a first Fantastic Four, a first 
Amazing Spider-Man in, in a PSA 10, if you could get a grade like that, would probably actually sell. These apparently are collector's items, so um, just the unopened pack was worth a bit. Um, I don't know if it really is going to appreciate in value um, if it was unopened. Um, depends on the collector's market for stuff like this. These are kind of off. They're not like the the big card group, you know, uh, sets like the Impel one that just blew up um, and like the Fleer and some of those. But I just thought it was really interesting. So there you go. And I got a free gift from eBay, so I'll open that too. Uh, collectible stickers. Let's see if I got anything good. These I think these would be worth grading. Probably not. So these are from the X-Men cartoon. That's funny. They're like, I feel like postage stamps are like stickers, right? Professor Xavier, the Beast, Rogue and Gambit, and I don't know who that is. Jean Grey, I guess, with like battle armor on. Just some electrical devices that are probably jamming their mutant powers. Good old Magneto. And some kind of missile attack. I'm not sure. Well, there you go. That's what I got for this video. Let me know what you think down below. Um, should I even get into grading? Not ne necessarily on this, but of any of my stuff. I mean, I do have some cards that are probably worth it to send off to PSA. I think the turnaround teams are like almost a year now and it costs like probably 50 bucks each to do it. It's something I've never really considered, um, but I'm, I'm interested in it. Sound off down below. Thanks for watching. Tragic MTG. Catch you later.